Now, outside of the texture, before you start painting, you can also paint, or you can also go through here and modify things after they've been painted. Uh, let's bring in something. Let's go into my load tool here. We'll bring in another demo project. I'm going to select Skin Shader 4, turn on M, go to Color Fill Object with the head selected, and we'll go into Solo Mode, just kind of focus on this. So here we have a poly painted object here. Now let's say I want to kind of pump up this contrast a little bit. I've done a lot of painting and it's not quite as poppy as I want it to be. So again, this is on my poly paint. It's not a texture, so it's on my vert colors. I can still go down here to poly paint and I can go here to adjust colors. And now I have the exact same functionality I had in the texture adjust. So if I just want to change the overall intensity, I can just go down here to RGB intensity and really crank that up. If I want to adjust that hue a little bit, maybe make them a little more green, or a little more red, I can dial that in. If I want to do a tint wash over him, I can kind of just do a, you know, a little poly paint over him. If I'm happy with this, I can hit OK. And there we go. Our poly paint's been updated. Now when I turn off solo mode, you're going to see if I tap the body here, and we go to color, fill object, and just fill that with skin shader, you're going to see how much more uh, contrasty this is. Same thing for the horns. So let's tap the body here. Let's go back into adjust colors. And again, we'll just crank that intensity up. Now, if I go back to the head, I'm like, you know what? I like that a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to go back to the head. Just alt tap the head subtool and undo. And go back to this state. Then go right back into adjust colors. And just dial in that same intensity. And you kind of keep playing around with this. So I change the RGB intensity. I hit OK. I'm like, oh, that's not exactly right. I can undo that. And then when I go in here to adjust colors, I have the exact same uh, RGB intensity plugged in. If you want to, you can go up here to reset, and that'll go ahead and reset everything, and then you can just start over from scratch. Now, just like when we were playing around with the textures, if you go into adjust colors, you see you have inverse mask turned on, so we can grab any of these. I'm like, you know what? The red areas, I want to go ahead and mask those. And we can play around with the tolerance. Again, if you want to hide those colors temporarily to see what you're getting, or if you want to blur the mask any while you're working, you don't want it to be super contrasty. You can hide the mask if you want to hide it temporarily. Change the tolerance level to just grab less or more. Go back here to invert mask. So you're again, you're just grabbing, you're just masking out the red areas. And as those areas masked, anything you do, and you hit OK, and it'll actually carry that mask out. So if you control drag, you can unmask, or you can control tap to invert that mask. And now you can make adjustments to this, or you can go through and sculpt. So you can actually use poly paint and adjust colors to not only change your poly paint, but also give you a mask if you have one loaded in there. Let's go ahead and undo that. Let's go back into adjust colors. And just like before, let's go ahead and hit reset. If you need to grab kind of like a slight gradient or a couple more pieces, kind of like in Photoshop when you're doing a select by color range, you can go through here and you can be like, okay, give me, let's go ahead and invert, invert our mask here. So like, give me these browns. And also I'm gonna go down to there to the second one and give me like maybe some of these light browns. And maybe on this one, we'll change that tolerance back a little bit. And that'll just give you a little more range. So you can grab the dark browns and maybe some of the lighter browns. Then we can invert that mask and we can hide the mask temporarily. So if we wanna go ahead and make changes to this, like, you know what, I want this to be a little more intense or a little less intense, maybe a little darker, maybe push a little bit more towards the reds, maybe drop the intensity down a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good, I can hit okay. I can control drag to unmask everything and now all of those color ranges have been adjusted to that darker tone. If I hit Control Z, you can see the difference. Or go here between this point and this point. And if you remember, if it's a bit much, you just want to make some small tweaks. Remember, you can always go back here, uh, Control Tap this point in your history, go all the way back up, do BHR History Recall Brush, have RGB turned on, drop that intensity down, and now you can kind of go through and brush back your original uh, a little bit, or make slight adjustments based on uh, your original poly paint if you want to kind of knock some of this stuff back. Or maybe along the chin, you didn't want it so intense. So you can just kind of go through and just lightly brush back that intensity a bit in some areas. So a slight addendum I want to make to the texture one. If you want to do a texture adjust on this object, you can. You can if you don't feel like doing a poly paint adjust, or if you created a texture out of here, if you would did like a texture map create new from poly paint, what you'll have to do is go in here to clone texture, and then you have access to that texture. It'll be selected, and then you can go down here and do an adjust colors on the texture. Alternatively, just like we were talking about, instead of doing it on the texture map, 
You can also just go into polypaint here and say adjust uh, polypaint if you'd like.